What's up guys? Welcome back to Solomon's Island. So here's my August update guys. Just wanted to show y'all some big changes that I made. Uh, and the livestock that I have as well. As you can see, everything's doing good. We get some close-ups. Uh, here's my view standing back on the 150. All the aquapora is doing well. Thank God. Uh, I moved all my chalices to the back wall because they were growing up on the acros on my left side. So I just decided to move them to the back wall. I think it looks amazing. Got my red chalice, my, uh, my Miami hurricane, my black widow. Uh, I forgot this one here. Rainbow, chalice, and Hollywood stunner. Uh, I will be doing more in-depth uh, details about the livestock that I have as far as corals go but for now I just wanted to show y'all how everything's doing cyano clearing up on the sand bed as you can see uh, it's lightening up uh, let's see here let me just give y'all some close-ups on everything Polyp extension is crazy on all the acros. All I have in here is two narrow fives. Two narrow fives, that's it. And they work in wonders. They know it's time to eat right now. It's evening time in here in Los Angeles, California. So this is usually when I feed them. My Ghani's doing amazing. My rainbow Ghani. And my red with blue tips. Doing amazing, thank God. OG bounce. You can see pieces of the Hollywood Stunner on the ground <laughs> where I moved them. If you look at the old videos, you will see all my chalices lined up in the front, but that wasn't working because it was shading out my bonsai and a little bit of my Walt Disney right there, as you can see. But they'll come back. That side is up against the wall. But this is the view from the right side. My big girl, my first clownfishes I ever uh, purchased way back in 2018. All these crows, a lot of these crows I've had since 2018, guys. So I have all my corals, mainly from 2018. And a lot of these corals have been with me the whole time. You see the colors of my acros doing amazing. Look at that voodoo magic right there, going crazy. Like I said, I'll be doing more in depth uh videos on my livestock i just wanted to give y'all an update on how the 150 is doing look at that beauty right there my 
my dragon soul torch going crazy. That's an endo gold on the right hand side. Look at blue face, looking amazing. This is my view when I'm sitting down. Shout out to CJ. He came up with the foam board visor for my new AI blades. <laughs> so I got the coral grow and coral glow. I put the coral glow in the uh, grow in the back for my aquapora and the coral glow in the front for pop with my three Radeon XR15 G6 Pros. I couldn't be more happier, guys. I had to move a few coils around like my clam because it was getting too much light. So I moved everything accordingly. But yeah, everything's doing amazing, guys. I couldn't be more happier. Here's my frag tank, doing amazing. I put all the leftover pieces of chalice in here that kind of fell off when I was moving them onto the back wall. My Aussie golden torches are doing lovely. My, my ultra Ms. Bar clowns, doing amazing. Still don't have a name for them. <laughs> Tommy the Tamini Clown and uh, Spike the Yellow Belly Regal Tang or Hippo Tang. You can see his yellow coming in on that belly, looking real lovely. If you guys are interested in any of these Ultra Endo Gold torches, just let me know. I'll give you a good deal. And uh, also these rose bubble tip anemones, as you can see, they're going crazy. And I also got a lot of Aptasia in here, so uh, hence the reason I went to Petco. Just happened to see this guy while I was getting food. He's ready to go crazy right now, so floating him, just going to drop him straight in. He looks super healthy. I'm going to just drop him straight in. Uh, so yeah that's the frag tank my old display tank loving it so hook the doser up to that Kamor already went over that in the last video uh, doing great dialed it in Got the dose right, so do my weekly checks on it. Um, also got the Trident, because I got to make sure this stays stable. I'm at work all the time, uh, and I get home during the evening. I have to make sure uh, that the... Uh, tank is stable so I went out and I uh, went ahead and purchased the Trident just calibrated it um, yesterday 72 hours after I purchased it and it's doing lovely so let me know what y'all think in the comment section don't be shy <laughs> So I had to set up a quarantine tank uh, for my Achilles tank, my powder blue, and my white tail. 
It's a 40 gallon. I de-rimmed it. Uh, hang on the back overflow. Uh, FF75 sump. My Achilles tank, he kind of shy, so he's hiding right now. But you seen him a little earlier. Hopefully he comes out again. But uh, yeah, this is my quarantine tank. I wanted to fatten him up. Oh, there he goes again. So I wanted to fatten, uh, I wanted to fatten them all up. Get them all nice and fat, and then put them back inside the display. So, yeah. They all doing real healthy though. I'm fattening them up. They can eat peacefully without the big tanks messing with them. Uh, once their belly's super fat and the shyness goes away, I'm gonna put them back in the display. So, look at that guy. They about three inches or less. And uh, my white tail, he's about two inches. Super small. Super small white tail. Got a deal from Harry's Marine Life on the white tail. And uh, Rainbow Aquarium and Pond. Uh, for the uh, powder blue and the Achilles tank. Super deal, guys. Super deal. Out here in Los Angeles, California. Hit them up. Rainbow Aquarium and Pond and Harry's Marine Life. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Try to be more consistent. It's just kind of hard. Like I said, previous videos were working and everything. As you guys already know. Try to be more consistent though. Just wanted to let y'all know that Solomon's Island is doing amazing. And uh, I pretty much do this for the people who can't afford it. And also, the people who just can't have tanks in their homes, this is all of our tanks. So, hope y'all enjoy. Like I said, I will be doing a more in-depth video uh, on my livestock. So, just be on the lookout for a more in-depth video on the livestock, guys. But, uh... Hope y'all all having a good one, and I'll see y'all next time on Solomon's Island.